this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com, and today I have a special guest for the first time, my husband, <laughs> William Cole, so I'm very excited to have him uh, here, but today is our anniversary, so if you saw my shorts video, uh, we were at the car wash. Um, on one channel and then on the other yeah. we were at a park and um, we were just really talking today about how much we've grown so today we're going to talk about oh, uh, relationship slash marriage advice experience just you know really sharing our journey um, as far as the growth that we've had, right. uh, that's really what I want to focus on. So, um, William, would you like to start, or you want to piggyback off of me? Um, and a camera is on the on the right side, so. Uh, okay. Um, so this is my first time, so I'm going to keep it a, a shot. Um, sure. Uh, of course, today is our um anniversary we've been together 28 years um it's been a very interesting journey um from being early 20s i think we got i was 22 um yeah i was 22 and she was 21 I was, yes but i was 17 when i met him okay uh, and you okay. were 19. Right, right. So that's so, why we, you know, talk about our 28 okay, okay. years. Okay, so yeah, we was, um, so we met what in, okay. in 96. Okay, yeah. but yeah. But anyway, I, back to what I was saying. I don't want to, um, I don't do for time purposes. Um, being married at an early age, um, and experiencing the different challenges that young people experience um, is when you look back and you know it's, it's a it's a weird trip because it's nothing that no one can prepare for we get advice from our parents you know we might get advice from other um, married couples along the way but still each individual um, and person that's in the relationship are going to have their own separate experiences so the advice is good and people are going to give advice from what they you know yeah. experience in their relationship but it's just to help you kind of maneuver you know along the way and in, in facing different circumstances but um it, it's a journey and it is work you know um every day is not going to be a good day um you're going to have a tough day so the reality part is it People want to paint a picture sometime, I guess, to um, make it seem like it's, oh, it's a beautiful this, beautiful that. It is, but it's mm -hmm. work. I think we might have argued our, our marriage, like, if I can go back. Not a bad you argument. I always say that, but, but I don't remember. It, it's, it, it was like just um, talking like we're talking right now, how we'll do something, and people think, people's mindset mm -hmm. just be so yeah. far-fetched about, yeah. oh, it's so blissful. Man, yeah. let me tell you, so but we I get guess, married, we just regular yeah. people and it starts then mm -hmm. so you know it is for me it was yeah you know well i guess in reference to um what i've learned is sometimes i think arguments uh which we've learned over the experiences are just disagreements really you know and most people allow that to um sometimes put fear in them from getting married or taking that relationship to the next level because you fear disagreeing and sometimes um just having a disagreement sometimes makes people just feel like giving up and um the truth of the matter is is that you're going to have experiences that show and demonstrate your differences you both come from two different Households, you both come from uh, two different backgrounds. You have different opinions. You have different interests. No matter what you have in common, you're still two different people. Right. And I think what 
causes some people to give up or just not even give it a chance is when you come upon those challenges. And when you have challenges in a relationship, it is tough. You know, and sometimes you don't know what you need to do. You think you need to give up on a relationship or you feel like it's not worth keeping or, you know, just the unknown and the uncertainties of going through those tough times, you know, um, getting in your own space, getting too much in your emotions and, you know, hurting each other's feelings, just things like that. But for us, since we've been together so long, we've learned that, you know, the difference between our dating time when we first started is we were in two different living environments, but right. we still had, you know, really disagreements in the same way that we did when we got married. You know, they, of course, uh, changed because we grew, we matured, we had um, different lives, you know, different interests and things that changed our lives individually. And then we had to find a way to navigate through that. And so for us, like, we don't mind uh, just being real about, we, we have a lot of disagreements. And uh, we're both very passionate people. Uh, as my husband likes to say, strong will. We're strong will. Like we're really, uh, our. It took our youngest son to tell us that. Really, I think from his perspective, he said we were so much alike that that's how we would bump heads. Right. And I just think that you know, on the subject of arguing or disagreeing, that can make people feel fear that the relationship just won't work and the truth is you know um it will work you just have to learn how to get past it like instead of giving up just use it as okay once you both cool down you're easier to talk to um and then you just start you know seeing what okay what was the problem and what do we need to fix and are we willing to fix it and and, you know to add on to what you're saying when Two people have disagreements. She mentioned it's two people coming in from two total different environments. So naturally, you're gonna you're gonna argue. It is nothing you can do to try to avoid it. You're gonna have a disagreement. If you're in a relationship, being with somebody, and you love that person, it's healthy. But at the same time, what we've learned is, and we're and we're still learning as time goes and still as learn. we're together is patience, um, communication, Mm. being able to set your own feelings aside because for myself, you know, and and me being a male, I'm a, um, I'm an alpha personality. So, and, 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 and and, and it doesn't mean I have to be a Debo or a bully, Mm. but, you know, being a, that type of personality, you really have to kind of, kind of step back and think and be level-headed because you can get into yourself and get into your ways and that can hinder your growth. You can still get to your, where you're going to go, but being set in your ways, um, some people call it spoil or my way or the highway, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, that, those are sayings that I've said them and, and rightfully so I've said them. But you know, you really have to set set your feelings aside and communicate and learn to be understanding and listen to the other person. And it, it's, it goes for both people. And when you get to that point, your your relationship is, is going to automatic, automatically try to put to the next level. You, because you'll be able to hear the person out instead of, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, then I feel like this, blah, 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 blah. But... If you're able to just kind of take a deep breath, calm down, and listen to one another, then you can come to some term of agreement. Because at the end of the day, you both love one another, and you want to be together. So you're going to have to communicate. And the better that your communication is, the sooner that you communicate and get understanding, so much more easier and a lot less stress you will have 
moving forward in your relationship. So you work on um, having a better and a healthier relationship with um, with your partner. You know. Yeah, and the main thing that I feel really works for us is you know since we met um, at a younger age, you know it was like. Our personalities are, um, you know, I feel like I'm a real raw type of person. Like, I don't really front with my husband. You know, if things are great, then I'll let them know that they're great. If they're, um, if I perceive them as they're not great, and this is what's not great about it, from my perspective, uh, I'm going to share that. And the main thing is that you both have different perspectives and you both have different eyes on, targeted on your relationship. So you're going to see different things. And, of course, when you're in disagreement, you can't always talk it out because you may be in high emotion. And when you're in high emotion, being realistic, I know with us, like, it's no um, you know, it, it's just difficult because and, and it's, you have to be raw, and we're we, both gonna get right, it out. We gonna get it out, and, and see, and when you're angry, we everybody says things they don't mean because they're angry, their um, their feelings been hurt, they're in a protective, um, you know, a protective stance to protect their feelings. You know, they're prideful, so all that. And that's negative energy. So when all that stuff come out, I mean, what you think gonna happen? But what we're saying is, you know, even with that and knowing that, understanding that, and it's a practice. So it's not saying that tomorrow you just go cut light on that's and we're gonna we'll figure practice. it out. It's it's mm -hmm. time, you know, we just work. Just a little bit of time, like building a wall. You lay one brick, then you lay another brick. Mm -hmm. So just after a while, a period of time, you don't build a little a nice little bit of little mini wall, mm -hmm. but as time progresses, before you know it, you have a beautiful wall when time comes, and it'll be mm -hmm. solid because of, of the point that you done took time and done it right and, 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 and learn and understand the technique. So you'll get better and better. So the more that you're in something, the better you're going to get. But it just takes time, and you both have to be understand to one another. And it's just work, y'all. And it's, it's work. On it, both sides. Yeah, it's work and it's work every day. Like with a relationship, it is every single day. And like you have to, what works, what we know works is you have to reset every day. Yeah. So that means what you went through yesterday, when, what you went through last week, last year, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, right. you've got to you got let to, it go. Right. And, and I mean, you really got to get aggressive. And, work on it. and you got to rewrite and work about on letting it go. letting that stuff go because you don't want to take that, that added yeah. baggage and stress along with you. And also, um, it doesn't matter with age. People think because you're uh, a young couple can't tell an older couple something or mm. an older couple may be so seasoned and young, people might think they don't understand. It doesn't matter with the age. It is. It doesn't matter. It's the main thing that I've I've learned, and I can the best advice I can give, um, is the number one thing that I can say in a relationship is respect. Respect one another. If you have respect for yourself, then have respect for your person, and respect the other person. You're gonna argue, and you're gonna say things sometimes, and it's gonna be out of, uh, could be disrespectful, but. If you respect that person, go back and make it right. And you know, it's work. It takes time, y'all. And we just being real. Um, so I, I want to put that out there. And that's going to help a lot of people right now that's going through because we have to learn and we had to go through our own trial and tribulation. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm not saying it was the worst or it was the best or whatever. Mm -hmm. We just had our own trials and tribulations right. and in 28 that we had to go years so you know you're gonna I mean, do that yeah, i mean we're talking about 28 right. years of so, life two decades eight know, years and, um, that's a long time and you know it's yeah. a lot of growth because for right. us you're talking about a 17 and 19 year old you know and now i, I mean i'm free with my age my husband is to 45 and 46 like okay we have different lives than we did at 17 and 19. You know, I mean, 
it's it's so much difference. And now I think so much about ego. Like each person has their personality and everybody has some type of, you know, ego. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to really just understand that when you have different perspectives and you're bringing them to the table and you have different attitudes and things like that, just like you said, respect is going to be interpreted differently by you because right. my husband may feel like he was respectful when we were having a disagreement and my level of respect may be different from his. And if right. so, that's why I think you have to have, you know, you can't fear talking to your mate. You That's know, you have to comes in. you have to learn right. how right. to communicate right. with each right. other because right. your your way of communicating in your relationship it's, it's different. is different right. than somebody else whose relationship may not be working, and you're thinking you're on the verge of not working, and you're taking their advice or you're comparing your home to their home. Mm -hmm. What works for you and your mate, what you can navigate through what problems you can work through, how you communicate with each other, what it is for you. Truthfully, that what we've learned is it really does have to work for you. If, if I can handle my relationship and I'm communicating with my husband, he's communicating with me, then, you know, we don't really worry about what other people have going. You right. know, you, you hear about it and things, but I think, you have to really take an aggressive stand for your household, what you know works for you, because the truth is we're going to have to talk about this a little bit. Um, you know, you're going to have haters out there, just like with any other category, and that's a negative energy. And sometimes when you have a relationship that, you know, gets a, you know, in number and age, Sometimes you find that people close to home are not really supportive of your relationship. They're, they might appear sometimes jealous or just as a hater or whatever. I don't know. It could be at your workplace, anything. But the main thing is what works is really finding a way to um, keep people out of your business. You know, people are going to see you. Who you're around in your circle, like I said, family, friends, strangers, and um, they're going to have their own spin and perception on your relationship and what they think it is and is not, and that's okay. That's their opinion. Don't let people's outside judgments, comments, family, friends, you know, whoever, whatever they think about your relationship, just know that that's their opinion and their thoughts. And don't let that into your home if it's negative energy. Now, if it's something that you feel you've heard that makes you improve for that person, um, then take that, you know, and use it. But, but your goal needs to be every single day. Today is a new day. We're resetting. Um, and whatever I can do individually. Like, sometimes we're, we want our mate to do everything. But individually you have to set goals for you and every day i want to be a good mate you know i want to learn from my mistakes i want to learn from my errors i want to improve on habits that uh, are not good for my relationship um and they're not good for me individually like you want to just improve you and when you improve upon yourself it really helps the relationship as a whole and take that serious. Right. So what you think about I that? I think that's I mean pretty much hit the um the nail on the head with that. Um I, I, I really agree. Um I uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry for the, the low our um technicians got some issues with the mics, but we're gonna get that fixed. Um but um I'm gonna try to speak more clear and a little louder. Uh I really agree with what she said. Um, you have to take the ego out and that ego can hinder the relationship moving forward and to um, to add on a little bit what she was saying getting advice from other people you know I'm not saying single people can't give 
married people advice or married people can't give single people advice but we have to be very careful um, the advice that we give and that we receive mm -hmm. so I'm going to let that just be and you take it as you will alright we're done and then I, I just can't see that. I, I mean Keep talking. See stuff like that. Like just move forward and keep it real. Like if you go on. I said I wanted to check something, honey, but, but it's gonna be too long though. Um, what we're doing is we're giving people somebody needs some guidance, they just like we guy. did. And <laughs> a lot of times you don't meet people. Like seriously, you don't meet people who are for relationships and for love and not negative because relationships are hard i don't care who you are how good you are how loving you want to be toward each other you know your backgrounds your religious beliefs all of that it, it still work and it is tough and you're going to be challenged in areas that you didn't know you were going to be challenged in yes. and you are going to learn a lot of things about yourself like, that's something that I know, I think the first thing that really let me know that I was improving as a person is that um, I just saw how tough it was sometimes. And, you know, I, I became consumed with, you know, trying to wonder what my husband is thinking and what he's looking for and what I'm thinking and what I'm looking for and just really learning yourself and something that a relationship teaches people um, who choose to be in it first we said this today you choose to be in a relationship so as far as um, in our shorts video we said that the lesson we learned or we thought was a good lesson was improving on your selfishness when you are just dating or you're just hanging out together or whatever yeah. that is not mm -mm, that is not nah, really no um boyfriend girlfriend so. yeah it's not really helping you right be see how a, selfish right. you might be because at any given time in a real a real argument um and there's no solidified commitment both parties can just separate and go their own ways and and leave the relationship mm -hmm. and therefore meaning that their feelings and whatever it is that each one of them had it never got checked because mm -hmm. they didn't have to sit there and work it out and really look right. at themselves about yeah. all right what part did i play you know in, right. in causing you know on, on my part yeah. and because you just don't, don't argue with yourself so right. something happens you don't you don't then, really feel yeah. like like there's nobody to check you you know you think you know you and whatever you want to do how you come and you go and whatever you're doing that you know could potentially be uh hurtful to somebody else you know even when you're in your own world with your family sometimes they let you just do whatever you want then they think that you know you're going to come into a relationship and just be with somebody and yeah, it's right. like your partner is gonna deal with that right. like okay it's not a real it's uh, not. what we say right. all the time or at least when i tell him yeah. you know our relationships i have a mother and father and sisters who you know siblings who love and adore me and they're gonna have my back and he has a mother and father and siblings who are gonna have his back and one thing that you know, we both come from pretty big, you know, I would say families. Um, and we're both among the youngest in our group. So for me and him, I feel like with us, what we had in common is we were both spoiled, if you want to use that as a term. And when you get a person who, you know, uh, feels like you know they receive love and care from their family it's like you're not gonna make me feel how i don't want to feel period you know point blank so 
in your relationship, just understanding that the improving on selfishness is understanding that how you look at yourself in the mirror and maybe how your family members are treating you, that's not necessarily holding you accountable to how you're treating that person because they're going to be, you know, in a different type of intimate relationship with you in a way that a sibling and parents just can't, you know, cousins, nieces and nephews or whatever can't offer you. So when you have those hard times, you know, realizing that, okay, what my parents and siblings are going to take from me, you know, my cousins or people who love me, my husband's not going to deal with that and vice versa. I'm not, I'm not trying to treat you like, you know, I'm your parent or your sibling because I'm not. And I'm not going to be easy on you when you hurt my feelings. And the same with him. So just realizing that when you choose a relationship, it is a choice because you can be in it or not. And so if you're people who choose to be in it, you really have to, um, you know, be realistic about the challenging times. And then you have to also know that you can't allow those negative challenging times to just cause you to give up or let go or you know not be willing to work on yourself while I'm dumping him because I don't want to work on myself I like being like this and vice versa you know he may feel like he um is comfortable being who he is and being in a relationship it challenges you to look in the mirror. And mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. like us, you know, we're in a relationship where we pretty much going to grab each other and look in the mirror at yourself. This is not what you see. And I think as hard as that makes it sometimes for us when we're going through um, the process of just being in this life together, I think it's really what keeps us pushing for each other. Because we don't let, you know, right. we get over it quick. Like, right. we figure and, it out and, quick and, and, and keep and, it going. And with that, the getting over quick is the time. It's the work. So, you know, you don't just get here. And and by all means, people, it's people that's married 20 years plus, 30 years and they, st and they still breaking up. So it it's no guarantees. But yeah. what we're just saying, you know, if you really want to build somebody and you love somebody, then start looking within yourself. You know, because if you are, if you're being a better you, trying to create a better you for yourself, then automatically you're going to be a better person um, for your spouse, your partner, whomever, mm -hmm. you know, you're in a relationship with. So that's the advice that, you know, I can give like right now, you know, that we're on this this, this topic. I was about to ask you said too. Um, competition in marriage, in relationships, competing with your mate, like um, that's something that does happen in some relationships. Uh, it's just like looking out into the world. You know, you're yeah. your own individual, so you can't you cannot compare yourself to anybody else. Your right. progress, the lessons you have to learn, you know, the mistakes that you're going to make, they're going to be individualized. And just because you come together as a team, you know, don't discredit and, each other. And, like, right, right. And you have to be very, do I'm glad you said that. Because oh, I do this, you, and you don't do right. this, and, and they don't and, do that. And, 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 she, do, and, and, and to take it back to what she's saying, People uh, uh, put stuff in your mind too, mm -hmm. and try to make you feel like, well, this that person standard. right, and 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 where you doing all of this and they ain't doing that, or mm -hmm. I'm gonna give an example. This is not no true example, but it it may. I'm pretty sure it didn't been said. Um, my wife is if if you don't know, she's an uh, epidemiologist. I mean, she's a doctor. She's super smart. She done wrote many books. Me, I'm a good old country boy. I work with these right here. I can make things happen. It, I don't feel no kind of way intimidated because 
she'll never reach the highest of her education. And I'll, I'll push for her, and I'm glad that she does it. But people that's around, that's not in y'all circle, that's in when she go or when I go places, like you said earlier, it's people that's not proud. It's people who's not happy. Yeah. And they'll do little stuff and sell little stuff well. Um, and don't be surprised if you, you know them. Yeah. Uh, like they're real yeah. close to you, and you think, right. oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, he got they a, got our back. They got a degree, us. And, jealous and, and, man. Right. Or she has a degree. Right. It doesn't matter who's who. I'm just saying. Starting trouble. Or starting trouble, and you really have to be able to. Both people have to be able to come together like we're doing now mm -hmm. and sift those that negative stuff out. Mm -hmm. And That's hey, true. don't mean you got to be mean to them and they like that, but put feed them with a long hot spoon because those are the ones. That as the, the sooner you can recognize that, it'll be better for you and your relationship to stay away from that kind of negative negativity. Um, but yeah, don't yeah, be afraid yeah. to stand like stand up for each other. Right, right, it. Like right. you don't have to get into a disagreement right, with people, right, arguing, right. carrying on. Let them. If you and your mate are cool, Maybe. and like we said, assuming like right. us, we keep people out of our business. Yeah. You know, we come home. And we tear it down, meaning like we really talk things through. We mm -hmm. talk about stuff, things that people probably wouldn't even know that you can talk about in your relationship together. Like we're really real with each other about things. And sometimes, just like my husband was saying, when, when people are just kind of watching you and they think, oh, okay, well, you know, she's like this and he's like that or whatever. You know, people will try to even try to convince you that, you know, um, you can't work or you're not going to work because you each bring something different to the table. Like, you establish the rules that work in your household. Just like some people, like, I'm going to give a small, really simple example about um, my husband and I. Like, when we, when we do our yard we do it together i mean it's just something that we both vibe on we enjoy it um you know it, it's no oh gosh you know you can't handle the weed whacker or you can't cut grass because you're this or that like we don't put titles on what right. makes our household right. run we just do like it. whatever right. works for us we just do it we just do yeah. it and especially when our children were here you oh, know, man. who are grown now and yeah. gone on, oh, man. Um, living their lives. It's like, we really, I think that's something that I'm most proud about. Right. We have, come I together. feel yeah, like we we've always kind of, like, right. we always kind of did what we felt worked for us. And we know that it hasn't always been easy for people who love us, you know, to understand how we would do things you know, in our household that work for us. And from the outside looking in, like my husband said, we're very different. We have similarities. But, you know, um, as I've gotten older, like I said, I have a little bit more uh, <laughs> of the OCD tendencies. Like, uh, let's get <laughs> stuff together. Yeah, but, let's um, get, let's get um, but, you know, it's like we found a way to see how things work. You know, like, if, if I don't mind taking out the trash and washing the clothes or, and he enjoys cooking and we enjoy doing the yard together, like, and when, you know, he's gone or if I just have one of my OCD moments and I want it, you know, cut, like, I can go out there and do it on my own and it, it doesn't bother us. Like, right. you know, it doesn't matter who's cleaning up or who's doing this and like you know I tend to be really like over the top um uh, what is it he used to call me Miss Pris <laughs> you don't call me that no more but you know over the top and I like to dress up and I like to you know be all like that and my husband he's like he likes to be laid back you know and um it just, like, I don't let that kind of stuff bother me. And again, like we said, don't let people on the outside of your home, whether it's your family members or strangers, say things like, oh, you know, well, she dresses up all the time and he just, whatever, she probably don't like it. Like, don't let people start...
putting right. things in your head. Or he dress up all the you time. Know? And she or vice versa. And, and, and I'm using that, the dress right, up, but right, it could right. be it, anything. It, it could be your work right, schedule. Right, you know? right. He work all the time and she whatever, right. or she works all the time. Do mm. not let people remember what people see about your relationship is not what you and that person see. Right. And it's not what you and that person usually have a hard time handling. Some of the most troublesome things that people deal with is stuff that, you know, you hear the comment, what is it, Um, how people say, oh, if that was me, I wouldn't deal with that. And you know what? Maybe you wouldn't. And likely, you wouldn't. That's why you don't have the same, you know, relationship as somebody else. Because what we deal with, somebody else probably wouldn't. Right. And what we see other people deal with, we probably wouldn't. Right. But really, I'm cool with that. <laughs> nobody's better than anybody right. else. It's right. just, we choose to deal with what right. we deal with, the way right. we do. The way we deal with, and right. like I said, you know, it's already hard enough for everybody trying to navigate through what works every day because you don't get a break it's every single day you're at it so you don't get a break from that to the point where you have room to allow other people to tell you what you can handle and what you can't and you know uh you know now that the kids are gone, we get a lot of what we're bored. We're boring Free people. Time, man, we got time. We just enjoy things. You, know, you see is, my channel. We do right. little silly things. She gonna talk and, for a long time, and she finally get me on here. But uh -huh. I don't really like being on camera like this. Yeah. But I will if she wants me to. Call this one back. And I've only since we, you know, like you I know. said, I've done the books because even me, um, you know, stuff like this, it may not seem like it, but it's. It is a part of my advertising and putting my um, books out because, again, you know, that's a part of me. I'm used to being private, and right. uh, I might be flamboyant and out there, but, but she's when self, it she's comes self -promoting, to, you know, so. yeah, when it comes to right. me individually, like, I am very private, but right. I don't want to be selfish to people who have supported um, or met me through my books, and then it's like, you know, just a little bit knowing me, you know, getting to know me a little bit. And um, it's, you know, a lot. But um, we we definitely are really private people. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, now that our children are, you know, venturing in the Air Force, we we do. We just like we do a lot of simple things and learn, um, and, and really, we're having the, fun the time, with it. It's, it bothers it's us like even it's more like it it, right. It's like we're relearning, not relearning each other again, but having a new lease on life. Mm -hmm. um, after we were raised yeah. two young grown men, yeah. they're off in the world doing their thing, and yeah. we can't be no more proud than what we are. So we do have an ample amount of time to talk, to sit back, to really just kind of yeah. sit and realize back what's and, and important, ride, like and re really see what's in, where, what's really important. Right, quality of life is what's important to everybody. Yeah, That's, it is. Um, I'm gonna leave on that. Um, and it, it, she'll probably have more of these, but for me, you know, I'm not a real big talker like that unless I'm, you know into something but I but for her you know I, I want to make sure that you know like she said she wants you to get the real so we just being real with you so I'm trying to touch every point I can you know so that this advice sticks and it helps somebody out there because I know somebody needs some help what about people who think coach is boring what's your opinion about that well, like how do you handle when someone um, makes a comment about things that you do that work. Like, you know that really, being honest with yourselves, you know it works for both of you. And it doesn't bother you, but it's so noticeable to other people and because they're not like that, you know. Well, most of the time, like, what's your it, opinion? my opinion on that is because people that says that, 
will for one they're not in the same situation and with me I'm not I d I don't wanna be wrong when I say this because it just can it's took, your opinion. It's my opinion. But most of the people that talk like that normally be single people. Saying things to married people or but because married couples that's really getting along and they're doing things that they didn't got into themselves and you know, maybe the guys or the, the girls used to hate that Mm-hmm. Person now, and it was hey, it was all good at that time, and the same thing with the guys, or you know, it was all good when we was hanging, but no, like no, a shit, real, and, right? Okay, now, see, we didn't, and we our didn't, situation yeah. changed a little bit, yeah. things we used to do, yeah. we don't really enjoy yeah. them that much anymore, so, and you know, you people build. miss you, and, and sometimes and the hurt it, comes it, it, and it, it's like, a natural thing, but it's also. Mm-hmm. Or occurring and it's something that's real that people do say that people deal with. So to address mm-hmm. that, you know, I, I'm just saying, and that's my opinion on that. And even for those who who may not be single and saying, yeah. uh, it's just on the person. You know, mm-hmm. I like being born. When when I'm, when I'm being born, I'm doing things I like to do that's interesting to me. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I might not be the one who want to go out all the time. I hang out mm-hmm. and just sit with the fellas all the time. I mean, it's cool sometimes, mm-hmm. but sometimes I like to be alone because I do. When I'm alone, I can think. I'm. I can be in a quiet place. I can kind of get my mind, get my mental right. Um, and I, I like to go out. I like to hang out, but I might not hang out the way that I used to hang out. And for some that, you know, mm-hmm. it. it yeah, sometimes it causes in a relationship. You'll be surprised like, that it, that are things I mean, in, in a even relationship. Even when you have children, that, like right, when we first had right. our babies, you, you know, yeah, like man. some we didn't even know how different we were going to be, but we were so serious about like during that time trying to figure out how to parent. And, we're we're trying to figure out how to be married, and we can't get on that. And we the, the, that's what I'm saying. And the thing I think about that. But we had. We really did so, we have a lot more right, common so we than kept, we thought. When we, we came together on that, that kind of eliminated a lot of that other yeah. stress. So we was fortunate because yeah. we was out of eye when it came to our family and stuff. It didn't matter what we had going on. So if yeah. I'm gonna fall out with my folks, my friends, whatever, and then, it's, then so be it. Because I'm with this person. We got a life that we got to take care of. Mm-hmm. I ain't looking for no handouts. She ain't looking for no handouts. But we gonna do. We got to do to make sure this child. Is taken care of because yeah. the child next to come here. Then after we had our second child, definitely you already know we go do what we got to do for our family. So that itself yeah, we kept had us. That in common, it, it shielded and us from a lot of the noise from yeah. our peers. Yeah. You know, and you it doesn't mean they're bad or nothing, but right, those no. distractions and some of that stuff can cause turmoil in a relationship because in some instance, uh, I heard just like some guys talking and. They get back, well, you know, I don't get to hang out like I used to hang out no more and blah, blah, blah. Or maybe some girls, we done heard them talk. Yeah. Like you said, life grown talk, barbershop talk. Yeah. They, right. they said it. So, yeah. and, and when they go home to they, their spouses and stuff, those feelings come out. And it's like, mm-hmm. that can cause, can, yeah. can cause a problem. And, and again, right. if it works for you, like if, if you and your mate are the outgoing type, you know, and, and you have situations and things that you can work out and that's you and people are saying you know maybe you shouldn't do that the opposite just like us you know we both were really kind of um even though we were around and grew up around a lot of people we both like my husband and i we both know how to get in solitude when it comes to either something we're focused on uh, our individual projects, work projects, um, our family, when we feel like we need to fine tune and, you know, hone in on some stuff in within the household. Like, we just never really had a problem with being able to speak up for each other, you know, and regardless how people felt. Like, we know a lot of people got upset with us about you know, saying no to certain things, but right. we knew what we had going on here. And what we have going on here, like, you can't just go along with what works outside, what does not work outside your household. 
and then come back home and think you're going to have a peaceful household because you have to do what works for you. And again, I think that goes back to what we're saying about just knowing how to, um, you know, really see, see and learn each other. Like that's what you need to be focusing on in a relationship, learning each other, seeing what, um, works for you individually, seeing what your differences are and seeing what, um, you have that is relatable and working through that, you know, because there are a lot of people, we meet a lot of people of different age groups that, um, some are single and they are looking for love and we always hear them talking about, you know, whatever, you know, they're, they're either wanting a relationship or just wanting to know what works and, um, you know, all of that. It's, you'll be surprised what people, um, I just say, you'll be surprised what, you know, where you can help people. So, all of that is just really important and necessary. So, you know, um, just really, like I said, keeping people out of your business and doing what works for you and just not giving up when you right. go through challenging times. Be you know, that's right. what I, it I is. Agree 100%. All right, everybody. Cold family, we out. Thank you for joining us. So have a good night. Thank you, babe, for being with me.